Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to talk about how to build your bench press. Last time, if you guys checked the reviews, we got some technique stuff, some basics, some little tips to make your form and technique better, but now we're gonna talk about the accessories, maybe a little bit of programming, and some general tips to get a little bit more jacked and bench press more weight, because that's all anyone truly cares about. Welcome to Bench Press Accessories, I'm Salah Mike. The beauty of the bench press is yes, it is technical, and there are some very efficient lifters that lift big weights, but in the macro, in the big scale, just building more muscle allows you to bench more over time. So, the simples, right? Triceps, shoulders, pecs, back. The more upper body mass you have in the yoke, we call it, this is kind of the yoke, the better bencher you are if you can hone in that technique. The other beauty of it is that it works kind of smaller muscles in general, and generally the overall load that you can bench is less than your squat and dead, so the systemic, the whole system fatigue is less, meaning you can do more work, which means more practice, more reps, more muscles. So we can bench more frequently with more practice, allows it to progress over time. If you train it the same and treat it the same as your deadlift, you might not get the progress you're wanting. If you're only benching once a week, you might not get the progress you're wanting. If your goal is hypertrophy aesthetics, trying to look better, trying to build muscle, or even just general strength and you're not a power lifter, having a slight pause and a standardized way that you perform every exercise allows you to keep things consistent when you're changing reps, adding load, etc. So when we progress, it's not because we're progressing with different forms, squeaking reps out. When we're progressing, it will be by that standardization. So even just a half count on your chest, explode up, control on the way down, half count, explode up, I think is probably the best way to press for anyone across the board. So we gotta really break it down. I think there's two or three very simple, easy variations that can help majority of people. Number one, just being a close grip. If you're regular grip, we have those basic rings like we talked about in the tutorial. Moving your grip in anything more narrow than what you're used to. All this allows us to do is put a little bit more emphasis on our triceps and also we're moving the bar in a greater range of motion. The rest of the technique remains the same. You'll have to use slightly less weight, anywhere from 10, 15%, depending on how you're built and how efficient you are at the bench press. But for a lot of those very technical lifters, the more muscle we can build, the better off we're gonna be. So the close grip bench press is one of my top of all time. Number two, I'd probably say something like a tempo. Um, this allows, this is one of the best moves for any lift, any time. Not only are we just forcing ourselves to control the weight more, but we're really gonna fight through different sticking points and fight through the bar path. So if we get weird with heavier weights, it's a way to make lighter weights feel heavy because we can't train with the same intensity and volume we can day in and day out. So we use these variations that are self-limiting. Let's say I could do triples, which I'm about to do with around 315, 320 pounds. If I did that every single day, I might just get burnt out both muscularly and neurologically. So what we can do on my other bench press days is drop the weight to maybe 250, 260, get a similar stimulus and work out of it, but we're just gonna control that weight three seconds on the way down, pause for a second, and three count on the way up. So we're talking about accessories now, right? Things to build muscle that may complement our bench press. We wanna look at the main muscles being our delts, all three, our pecs, and our triceps. In order of what we should probably prioritize are things we can move a lot of weight with, with the greatest range of motion that most duplicates something that looks like a bench press. So in my opinion, some of the best would be uh, a dip. A weighted dip's a great piece of uh, a movement to build some general muscle through all those. Uh, incline press, shoulder press, anything where we're doing more compound movements are gonna not only have the most carryover, although I don't love that word, but in the long term, it'll allow us to build the most amount of muscle and replicates the movement of the bench press using the same joints in a similar manner. So after we got those variations that can be led into a higher frequency bench program as their main day, you can also do them after your primary bench as like the first variation, we call it like a secondary bar movement, accessory, whatever you wanna call it. Then we go into almost more pure bodybuilding stuff, right? We're just doing extensions and push downs to grow mass and grow strength in our triceps lateral raises, shoulder presses, even pec flies. Because they're smaller muscle group, it's something that we can train pretty hard and pretty heavy fairly often, two, three, four times a week. Um, and I'm a fan of high intensity training. I think if you're trying to build muscle on the back end, if your calories are right, your sleeping's right, and the programming on the primary movement is correct, that you should be able to go pretty hard to some RPE eights and nines on one to two sets per exercise to really put on that mass with your nutrition locked in Building muscle in the long scale, right, that takes years, will benefit the bench. Just like other lifts and anything in training, we don't wanna program hop or exercise hop. 
choose a couple variations, a couple accessories, and work hard at them for three, six, 10, 12 months, making progress with more reps, more weight, over time is how we're gonna build muscle and get stronger. Appreciate you guys, man. New videos every single day. Check them out. 3sb.co for all your video needs. I'm Solomon Mike. We'll catch you in the next one.